Centre for Digital Music exists to explore the crossover between science, technology and music. We come at the subject of technology and music from a very technological perspective. Everything we do has a technological aspect to it applied to music, but we're actually very broad. It covers essentially all areas of music technology research with a variety of different perspectives coming from engineering, computer science, music, psychology and other disciplines. We're trying to bring a more holistic approach to the engineering and scientific study of music. There's not such a separation between art and music and technology and maybe computer science. It's merely a continuum. I think it's fair to say that music is really a very important factor for a lot of different people. We are building tools that enable people to engage and approach music in new ways. The main focus of our group is understanding and modeling music using information processing methodologies. That means we develop representations and algorithms for analyzing, understanding, processing and interacting with music data. The thing that's really changed in the past couple of decades is primarily the amount of data we've got available. I'm part of the machine listening lab in the Centre for Digital Music. I work in particularly on birdsong. Birdsong is a really nice example of one of the really complex sounds that you hear every day. We've been working on a general method to tell the difference between different bird species and that's now available as an app. You hit record and then it tells you which birds it thinks are present in that sound recording. People have tried to combine music and mathematics for a long time, but the scientific treatment of music is quite recent. We are interested in the scientific study of everything that's necessary in the communication and performance of music. How music behaves, how music affects us, and how we create music. For me, one of the most inspiring things is not only to be able to make my own music, but to be able to create the tools that other people can use. Within the Center for Digital Music, I lead the Augmented Instruments Laboratory. We look at what is very intuitive and expressive to play. We look at how to build instruments that respond with a high degree of subtlety and detail to what the performer does. One of the really exciting things about working in the Center for Digital Music is not only that we work at the intersection between music and technology, but also that we work at the boundary between pure research and the broader market. And one of the consequences is that products or ideas that are developed oftentimes become quite quickly ready to share with a larger audience. I think the role of technology in research is to push the boundaries for creatives. We design and build tools to facilitate audio production. We are working with companies and we are collaborating with industry. In music, there aren't too many businesses around that have big R&D departments anymore. Queen Mary is definitely the leader in the UK in terms of music research. And I'm looking to academic research for really exciting technologies, going back to business and finding ways that we can employ those technologies. A lot of the technology that we're looking into and that we're developing is actually not exclusive to music. Some of the things that we do include automatic mixing, sound synthesis, and sound design. I work a lot with an area called e-textiles, conductive threads and fabrics and very soft, malleable materials. You can start pulling out ideas and developing new technologies that are really powerful. And maybe they'll even have other uses, such as medical and health uses as well. I run the Music Cognition Lab, which is the more psychological end of what we do in the Centre for Digital Music. We're interested in understanding the psychological processes at play when we're listening to a piece of music. Personally, I want to understand how perception works. I think we need the technology to be able to then study how humans perceive, and I think we need human perception to then be able to refine the computer models. The contributions that C4DM makes to music technology are not just about music. They're not just about performance or creativity or culture. They're actually about a lot more than that. They don't just belong to the realm of music. They actually help us explain humanity. You can kind of think of just what if it existed? What if this thing happened? What would that mean? I hope that the people who graduate actually take away this sense that you don't have to do what everybody else is doing. You just have some faith in what you feel is exciting. Mm -hmm.